Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, my name is Melissa Alves and this is where I'll be sharing my get ready with me, my tutorials, etc. So if you want to get my staple go-to look when I have no idea what to do, I kind of have perfected this look for myself so that I know if I'm going to go out and I just don't have any inspirational motivation to come up with a new look, then I just literally do this one. I sometimes then just change out the liner for something else. Uh, but yeah, if you want to achieve this really cute, pretty look, then keep on watching. All right, ladies, so I've already prepped my skin um, and now I'm just going to add a little bit more Aquaphor on my lips and this is just gonna help moisturize them and keep them hydrated throughout uh, the whole process of doing my makeup. I'm gonna go in with this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfecta and I find that this one is really really good if you need your makeup to last all day long. So I'm taking about a small amount like this, about a pea sized amount and you want to work this in with your hands because it gets tacky really quickly the more you rub the quicker uh, the quicker it gets quite tacky so i'm gonna do this first because i'm doing my eyes first so this will sit into the skin nicely by the time that i have to do my face and now i'm gonna start off with my brows so i'm basically just brushing out my brows real quick making them look nice and neat now we're going to fill them in and I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail pencil, precisely my brow pencil. This is from Benefit and it is shade number four. I find that this shade actually works for quite a few um, ladies that have dark brows. I don't like to overdo my brows so I just lightly create a line at the bottom here and I fill them in ever so slightly and then I kind of extend it towards the end of the eye just a little bit where it's a little bit more sparse um, we want the eye to look nice and big so we kind of just extend towards the end here and I always like to use a much lighter pressure towards inner corner of the eye because I hate those super angry brows like I just think they're hideous so I like to just go lightly here so we're just gonna push this product up and into the brows just to make it look a little bit more natural we're gonna do the same on the other side and then clean up with our NARS concealer okay so now I'm just going in with this R43 morph um, it doesn't it just has a number but it's a really really tiny brush flat brush that I can really create a nice carve out of I just want to push the product down as well just so that it doesn't look too intense um, you really want don't want that definite line I call it like the Oreo brow or the halo brow where they literally just leave like that white stripe so again just keep going but back in to edit that's what I like to call it edits edit your look keep going back in where necessary and this goes with everything foundation concealer um, eyeshadow so whatever's on my leftover on my brush I just go a little bit over or in the middle here just to you know clean up a little bit without being too hectic okay and now I'm gonna go in with a eye primer and this is the Flora bright illuminator um, Roshana Isaacs actually went on quite a lot about this primer guys you have no idea what goes on behind the scenes of filming YouTube tutorials like honestly I was out for a good few hours because my SD card just decided to bomb out on me so that was fun um, as I was saying um, this primer is really so I know it didn't pick up in the last post so I'm just going to show that again this is like really really fluid so you want to shake it up a little bit and I actually applied some to this eye and I can already see that it's almost like gone so it kind of like I don't explain it there's not a lot it looks like there's color in it because it comes out like a beigey 
kind of shade but then it kind of just fades into the skin after a while so it kind of looks like that on the back of the hand but then kind of just fades so i'm going to apply some now on my right eye because i didn't apply any here so you can see like it's really really fluid so what i like to do is apply it and then go in with a different brush you can just take any bigger brush and actually press the product into the eye Um, so now I'm just going over lightly with this RCMA powder that I use quite a bit. You guys will see me speaking about this endlessly. I'm going to go in now with my transition shades. So as you guys know, that is my Maybelline Master Bronze palette. That one over there. And again, I'm going to use the two middle shades. I don't use the other two. I feel like they need to make a palette where they just have the two in the middle for me just for me you know what I mean and tapping off the excess and then I'm just going into the crease as usual now that I have my transition shade on I'm just gonna darken it up with this little P Louise palette over here uh, and it's again I you can see which one I use the most out of this if you have a look there i'm gonna go into this shade over here and probably with a little bit of the brown just to like accentuate my crease a little bit more and i'm using this lux soft crease um it's a 221 so i applied my transition shade with the 6ss from Inglot, this is really nice. So now I'm going in with that lighter shade. It's very similar to the transition shades I just used. It's just that it's a lot more pigmented. So um, you can see there's already color placement and I didn't dab the excess off. So I'm just going straight in and just hollowing this out over here. I'm looking down into a mirror to help assist me to see where exactly I wanna create my crease and open up my eye more. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Pro Glide eyeliner, and this isn't designer purple. Um, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. One tip that I will mention with this, do not whatsoever put this in your waterline. And your waterline is over here. Um, I remember the first time I found this on counter when I was working for Mac and that was the first thing I wanted to do was put it in my waterline and I'm telling you my eyes were watering they wouldn't stop itching they were burning and that's because there's quite big glitter particles in here so I'm gonna try and show you uh, a nice size amount of glitter, glitter, <laughs> glitter particles in here and that will actually give the effect that it's got this metallic sheen finish to it which is what i love about the pearl glide liner so again just bear in mind do not put this on your waterline so i'm just gonna put this on the top where i usually do and you can just see that's just uh, gliding on like amazingly i actually want to get a close-up of this you can leave it as is like this you can extend it, you can do whatever you want with this liner. So now I'm going to take a flat smudger and this is a 226, also Zoeva. And now I'm just going to smudge this. So I'm going to go ahead and just top this liner just to intensify it. Um, so I got this amazing palette from News SA and this is the Juvia's Place palette. They are the bomb. Thebomb.com. They're so pigmented. So now I'm going to go in with the purple shade. Obviously, it's very close to the, the shade of the actual liner. So now I'm just going to basically go in and do that over what we already have so it kind of just really intensifies everything okay guys i'm gonna finish up the other eye real quick and then we are gonna slowly start moving on to our foundation 
Okay, so what I went and did off camera real quick was just finish up the eyes and then I'm going to show you quickly how to clean up and make it look like that. So your concealer is basically going to act like an eraser. So we're going to take the Fenty Beauty, this is shade 230. So Fenty Beauty concealer, it's really nice and thick so it covers up really well. And then I am going to go in with just one of these flat brushes from MAC. This is a 252 I think. And we're just gonna clean up like that. So the mess that you made earlier, super, super easy to clean up. So now I am gonna move on to my foundation. And today I'm feeling like for a little bit more of a full coverage situation. And the perfect one for that is definitely Fenty Beauty because her I don't know like her foundation is crazy full coverage so this is a pro filter soft matte long way foundation a little bottle like this and so now that i'm saying i want a full coverage i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender because um i usually don't go in with my beauty blender but i have noticed that some youtubers do this technique in order to get a fuller coverage Okay, and I'm gonna go in with my Floor Mark Contour Stick and this is in the shade number three. And just where you should be placing your contours. Again, guys, if you haven't watched my Transition Shade Guide video, watch it so that this makes sense to you on where you should be applying your shade okay so now i'm gonna go in with the sueva petite stippling to one to three i like to use this for contour because i feel like it blends it out really well so now i'm gonna go in with my becca aqua luminous this thing is already like you can see i'm scraping I am scraping as much as I can actually really need a new one I like this just to start with because it's like it's not full coverage and I just need it for the under eye just to cancel this dark tone out don't necessarily need it like for coverage just to like really cancel this out so just lightly buff this out wherever you see any dark circles so this is the warmer tone so this will help cancel anything out Okay, now that we've gone in with our beauty, I just went with a little tip of the beauty blender and just went and sealed the warm shade in. And now I'm going to go over with my 230, same one I used to clean up on the outer corner. This one's really light, so it will give you that like super bright under eye. Um, so I'm using this now because it is winter and I am quite fair at the moment. So I'm going to take advantage of this because I can't use this in summer. <laughs> so I am going to apply this to the inner corners here yeah? and I'm not going too far out just keeping it in and then a little bit over here don't do this if you know you have a little bit more of a prominent chin and if you have a prominent forehead also just don't do this skip this step so I'm gonna go in with this brush right here 110 face shape and I'm gonna just set this into my forehead I'm actually gonna go in with the same brush that I used earlier to clean up and I'm just patting this in over here because I need a little bit more coverage on a my under eye So now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just go over any of those areas that I did earlier with the concealer just to kind of set it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the same contour I used earlier, the Floor Mark Contour. And I'm um, just using the Sephora brush again, a flat brush. And I'm going to push this into the brow bone. And I'm not using a hard pressure. I'm just like softly going into the brow bone. So I'm just going to go down along the side of the nose. I'm using whatever's left on the brush. 
I like to just shorten it a little bit. I don't like a super long nose. I feel like my nose is a little bit long, so I just cut it off right here. Surgery goal, makeup surgery. And then like a little trick that I like to do is like whatever brush I used with foundation or concealer, then I lightly just go like real quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier. So I found Laura. She was hiding behind the brushes. I had to physically get up and look for her. So I've literally just dabbed my Laura Mercier into my beauty blender like that. And now I'm going to seal my concealer by pushing this in. I'm just going to brush out my brows a little bit because they're looking a little crazy after all this product. So I'm going to leave this like this and then kind of... What did I want to say? <laughs> just going to now leave this like this. I know I look crazy, but now we're going to move on to everything powder so we started with the Laura and now we're gonna go in with this NYX highlight and contour pro palette everybody's always asking me for drugstore because half of my other stuff is not this is drugstore and this is available obviously at clicks so I like to use a smaller defined um, brush for my actual contour and I like to use the lightest shade because I feel like it's got more of like a taupey gray undertone which I like for my contours and you can see it's like super pigmented oh my gosh i think i put too much on so we're gonna have to blend that and then i'm just taking whatever's left off and going over now i'm that i have my contour on and a few gray hairs from the brush <laughs> i'm gonna go in with my bronzer aka transition shade i'm just gonna go over where i place the contour so just above that and now I'm giving warmth to my face and where we have the powder from earlier just warm up that area of the face don't forget that because otherwise it'll look like a bit too spooky like you can see the difference now you don't want it to look like that no guys I'm not even like mentioning the brush names which is definitely my weakness so this is also as a waiver and it's a 127 Lux Sheer Cheek and the one I used before is a MAC I think it's a 168 if I'm not mistaken okay guys so I just went off camera a little bit because my neighbors decided that vacuuming was the next way to irritate me <laughs> yay so I just finished up dusting off any bake that was under my eye and just carried on warming up a little bit so now I'm just gonna go in with my highlighter and I'm going to use my beloved beloved whisper of guilt I mean what an amazing name for a highlighter as well so now I'm gonna use my Zoeva 105 Lux highlight and I kind of like to do this step before I do the blush and ooh, ooh I mean uh, uh, uh. yes girl glow girl get your glow on but again it's a glow we don't want to like be beaming from like uh, they don't need to see us from Mars so I'm just going to go back in with Whisper of Guilt and just go over the lips and it's just going to make your lips look pouty. And then I like to dust a little bit here and a teeny bit here, like that. I'm going to go in with my Flormar. This is Terracotta Blush on Infusia Glam. I think this is a really pretty shade for the cheeks. It is intense pigment. so use with caution lightly i need dipping my brush in dusting whatever's off and just get the apples of your cheek there so we're just going to finish up here by adding some lip and some mascara and of course setting spray because we don't want to look cakey all right so i'm going to go in with my favorite Extended Play Lash Mascara from MAC. As you guys know, I have spoken about this mascara until my, actually until your ears have fallen off. I don't know why I was gonna say mine. Um, so I don't feel like I really need a touch on this. I just feel like, just know that I'm always gonna use this mascara. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with my soap brows. Um, this is literally a massive block of glycerine. So 
<laughs> that I got at clicks. And then I am going in with my MAC spoolie and I'm pushing this through into the brows. I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip colors and these are like also pretty much staples for me because you guys know I love my nude lips. So I'm gonna go in with Spice and this is a MAC lip pencil. I feel like MAC has like the best, some of the best shades when it comes to lip pencils. So I'm not gonna fill the whole lip in with that. And then just to create a little bit of a contrasting shade that's like more of a, that taupey contour shade that I always speak about. I feel like this is a contour for your lips. And this is Stone from MAC and it's got like a really gray undertone. And I always do a combo on my lips guys. I like, I don't know how to explain it. I cannot do lips without a combo unless I'm wearing a glass and like, I don't want to like really zhuzh up in, at all in any way then I kind of just do uh, like a gloss but if I'm going out I do like 500 shades two liners two lipsticks and a gloss so I know it's something that it's not really um, achievable or maintainable when you're going out after I'm like done eating and drinking I don't even touch up I'm just like whatever so I'll just then keep it like a gloss in my in my bag Okay, now I'm gonna go over with my NYX matte, velvet matte. Yeah, and this is in Beach Casual. This is literally like my favorite shade at the moment. And I'm just focusing this on the center. Kind of just popping it over. I like this because it gives like a pout to the lip. You wouldn't have to put a gloss on over this, but you, if you're extra like me when I go out, you're gonna put a gloss on anyway so i'm gonna go in with this inglot jennifer lopez goldie lips really pretty color it's got a it's definitely a nude but it's got like these gold reflect glitters in it and i like it because when it catches the light it looks really pretty okay and now final step hallelujah this took forever and this was like the most simple look i want to know what it's going to be like when i have to form like a smoky eye or something hella crazy so now i'm gonna hit my makeup with this smashbox primer and this is an aura shield this is from the hood wish hood wish this is from the hood witch collection and then this is the clary sage and tea and like they have all these amazing names and like this scented water is inspired by the negativity releasing energy of smoky quartz. Use it to hydrate your skin, prep for makeup and refresh your makeup and aura and your aura guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go in. Wow, did that even go on my face? No. <sighs> Breathe it in guys, don't block your nose when you put your fixing sprays on because they always have these amazing scents to them. I know this looks like a lot, but we need this to set, okay? We don't want cakey vibes. So if you feel like it's too much, then too bad for you. <laughs> so I'm just gonna dry this. Okay, ladies, so this is the final look, my go-to staple look when I really don't have time or I'm not inspired by anything and I just know that I need to put my face on and go to an event. Um, again, this is something that you can adapt to your setting. So if you're going to a birthday, some high tea or whatever, you can definitely wear this look anywhere. Again, you can basically change out the liner or the lippy just to adjust it and make it not so boring and with, or that you're wearing the same look every single time. So if you love this, guys, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole whole look and if you want to see anything particular in the future on this channel and please guys don't forget to subscribe Mwah. see you next time my name is melissa elves Beep. <laughs> where are you laura laura where's laura oh my god i swear i put things ne next to me and then they just grow less oh i'm blind it looks <sighs> all right ladies so we're gonna finish up here is this camera straight
<laughs> I have to put a little.